Let's see the top 10 most exciting technologies shaping the long-term future of medicine. This is Bertalan Meshko, and you're watching the channel of the Medical Futurist. In one of my recent videos, I talked about those trends and technologies which I think will shape the future of medicine in the year 2015. But in many cases, I get questions about, well, the long-term future of medicine and healthcare. So let's see my actual favorite technologies that I think will really shape the way we practice medicine and healthcare is delivered. Let's start with the first one, cognitive computers. Cognitive computers have the potentials to be as important in the history of medicine as stethoscopes were more than 100 years ago. Because now the amount of information is so huge, it's humanly impossible to deal with that. So we need help. And cognitive computers like IBM Watson can do that job. Checking the medical records of patients, the 23 million medical papers, the medical textbooks, and then coming up with the actual suggestions. Although the doctor makes the final call. But in this case, the doctor could finally focus on the patient instead of trying to find the right information for that case. The second is virtual and augmented reality. With virtual reality masks, we could change the whole hospital experience, letting patients experience the actual procedure they will receive later on, seeing what it would look like in real life. With augmented reality, showing more from the digital world through a smart glass or digital contact lens, we could make sure to let people access the information they actually need immediately. Number three, is having scanners at home. First, health scanners, like the medical tricoder uh, depicted in the TV series Star Trek, which by scanning the patient would tell some basic diagnostic options, but there will also be food scanners with which we could actually tell what kind of ingredients or food contains, from ingredients to allergens and even vitamins. Number four is about wearables, then smart clothes, then the so-called insidables. Devices with which we can measure vital signs and health parameters at home. Now we use wearable gadgets, measuring blood pressure, pulse and EKG. Then we will have smart clothes that can measure all these in one uh, piece of clothing. And then we would have insidables, chips and little devices living inside our bodily fluids or just implanted into our body measuring all the required health parameters and letting us know when we should take care of something important. Number five is about 3D printing. Instead of the expensive manufacturing process, we can now 3D print plenty of things, from customized prosthetics to medical equipment. Then, now we can print out biomaterials, such as liver tissues, with which we could eradicate the use of animal testing for pharma companies. And then in the future, we would be able to print out actual drugs. A Scottish group has been working on that, and just imagine how it would disrupt the whole healthcare industry printing out drugs in 3D live at the pharmacy instead of manufacturing the drugs in large factories. Number six is about genomics or biotechnology. Everyone will have their genome sequences at home, and by using that, we will get really customized, personalized therapies. We will have the data of our microbiomes, the microbes living in our uh, uh, guts, and then we could be able to make decisions about what to eat exactly based on our metabolic background and based on the metabolic background of our microbes. Number seven is nanotechnology. We will be able to, to deliver the drugs to the actual places, I mean cells, in a targeted way, uh, in cancer, it would eradicate the, uh, the range of side effects in chemotherapies. Or, with such nanorobots, we could detect signs, early signs of diseases. It would put prevention to an absolutely new state, or new level. Um, number eight is about distant care or telemedicine. In areas with doctor shortages, when care is needed, but there is no medical professional or device around that location, we need help. And with the help of great digital solutions, we could provide the care. So then patients don't need to travel for hours, wait for hours to find out whether they need to go to the doctor right now or not, but they can find it out 
first at home or at a local care service with an assistant um, by using digital solutions such as the digital stethoscope, uh, devices measuring electrocardiograms, pulse, blood pressure, and all the vital signs, including blood markers as well. Number nine is about surgical robots and androids. Just imagine the uh, Da Vinci robot, the most sophisticated surgical robot out there, getting more and more precise, better and better every day. Imagine clinical robots walking around in the clinic and giving access to distant care, showing the physician's face through a high definition quality, the sound, even the handshake with force feedback gloves. If I wear a force feedback glove and I touch the patient's skin, the doctor, continents away, could feel the same feeling with his or her hands. And number 10, exoskeletons and neuroprosthetics. Imagine using brain implants that could improve our cognitive skills from memory to attention or problem solving, making us real-life cyborgs, augmenting human capabilities, which will lead to serious ethical concerns about whether there might be biological differences because of financial ones. Some people can afford brain implants and some others cannot. So these are the 10 main trends and technologies which I'm really excited about. And I cannot wait to start artificial intelligence, real, really good biotechnological solutions, digital services for providing good care. And I think that now such technologies can let us keep the human touch in medicine. Actually, only technology can let us keep human touch in medicine. If you want to read more about futuristic predictions about the future of healthcare, please read my recent book, The Guide to the Future of Medicine, and please do share what you think about that. Thank you.